In this video, we're going to take a look at um, creating a pie chart. Uh, when you create a pie chart, uh, the data is going to be pretty simple. You're only going to have one set of numbers, and which I have over here, and one set of labels, which I have over here. And a pie chart is uh, always used to show how the whole of something is divided up into parts. Uh, it's always 100% of something. And um, in this case, we've got 100% uh, of the lottery proceeds. And um, it's frequently used for stuff like this, uh, where you want to show how your money is being spent. Uh, for example, in a budget, uh, you can uh, use a pie chart to show uh, different areas and different budget priorities. So uh, this is the data I want to be in my chart. Uh, let's go to the Insert tab. Uh, let's go over here to uh, Chart. And we will do a 2D pie chart. Uh, you can also do 3D, but I really don't like 3D pie charts because when you tip the chart, uh, it distorts the size of the pieces of the pie. So we're not going to do 3D. We're going to do 2D. And the first thing I always do is move the chart to a separate worksheet. So we're going to put it on a new sheet. Click on OK. And uh, this is what we get. Uh, there's a legend down here. I don't like using a legend with a pie chart. I prefer having the labels around the outside of the pie here. If you do that, it makes it a lot easier to read. The person who's reading the chart doesn't have to go from here down to here and, and constantly go back and forth. So I'm uh, going to go down here and just click on this and hit delete. And um, let's take a look at some of the default styles that we've got here. Uh, it does a live preview. And um, so let's take a look at what we've got here. And don't really like that one very much. Um, kind of like this one. Um, it's got numbers on the pieces of the pie. Let's see if there's anything else that's uh, similar to that. Um, this one puts labels around the outside, which is something you really need to have. Uh, this one puts both, but I don't really care much for uh, the formatting of the chart. Um, and okay, so let's let's pick one of these. Uh, let's let's go back here and uh, pick this one. Okay, now it put the legend back in, which I don't want up here. I want the legend around the outside. Um, so delete the legend. You know, you can go up here and, and add the chart title, but we're not going to worry about that. And uh, what we want to do is we want to um, add some more data here. So let's click on um, the plus sign over here. And uh, what I want to do is I want to make some changes with the data labels. So click on data labels, whoops, on the arrow here. And um, we can position them. And I'm going to actually put them on the outside end. And they're, oh, they're white. That's why they're not showing up. Uh, white on white doesn't work very well. Uh, let's go to more options here. And I want the series name to appear there. Now, I'm sorry, category name is the one. Uh, click on category name, and it will put the name there. And um, let's go to um, some formatting options. Uh, yeah, let's not do that. Let's go over here and do it. Uh, if you if you want to format your labels, uh, click on any one of the labels, and you'll notice that all of them get selected. Uh, if you want to format just one of them, click a second time, and you're just formatting that one label. Now that's not what I want. I want all of them, so I'm going to click off and click back on again. I've got all my labels selected, and what I want to do is I want to change uh, the color. So just go to our home tab here. And for our font color, uh, let's choose black. And now they all become black. And now we can go back over here and we can go to our um, label options and um, go to our data labels. And uh, actually, I want those. Let's get this back up here again. I want my more options here. And I want those. Um, outside. Let's uh, do outside end. And there it puts them outside, which I think also makes it a little bit easier to read. And once they're out there, you know, if you decide that you want to uh, make them make them bigger, so it's a little bit easier to read, let's go here and make them 12 points, and we can do all of them at once. Um, if you decide that you want to 
say move one of the labels if you know, when they get small pieces of the pie sometimes the labels can overlap a little bit and you might want to go in and, and move them a little uh, just get your forehead arrow here and and drag it and you can move it uh, if you drag it too far uh, a line will appear that points to the center of that segment of the pie uh, if you want to explode a piece of the pie um, click once on the piece and if you click and drag like that uh, it will pull the piece out so you can highlight that piece of the pie uh, one other thing you might want to do and by the way control Z in here works just like it does any place else I'm going to do control Z a couple times to get the piece of the pie back in the middle and uh, one other thing you might want to do here with a pie chart is you might want to resize it and if you want to resize it uh, every circle has a, this imaginary square surrounding it and uh, to resize it you have to click uh, outside of the pie but inside of the square and so I'm going to click in here and the handles appear and then you can resize it and you can move it around and if you want to put something else on the uh, on the page there you can do that and uh, those are the basics for uh, creating a pie chart